Here's a problem sent in by Rexan. It says find the gray shaded area. Here we have a large rectangle. This is a rectangle and inside it I have five trapezia and they're all identical. They are right angled trapezia and we're looking for this gray shaded area in here. This is all of the information you're given and this is a six mark question. I'll show you the original briefly. So this is the original question and you can see that's all the information they give you and it's a six mark question according to this revision guide where this is from. I do have an issue with this question, I'll point that out in a minute, but let's go ahead and uh, give this one a go. So pause the video now if you want to give this a go yourself. So in order to find this gray shaded area, we want the total area and we want to subtract the area of these five trapezia. So what's the issue with finding the area of that trapezium or one of those trapezium is we don't have any of the dimensions on this trapezium. So we need to be able to find the, the lengths of this trapezium. Firstly, I'll write down the formula for the area of a trapezium. That's something you should know for GCSEs. And this is A plus B multiplied by H divided by two. This is where the top of the trapezium is A, the bottom is B, and the height is H. So usually when we draw trapezium or we work out problems with trapeziums is we draw them like this. So they're usually sideways and the top we call A, the bottom we call B, and the side here we call the height, um, and that's the perpendicular height. So in this case it's a bit sideways, but that's fine. Uh, I've labeled the sides now, so let's see if we can work out these unknowns A, B, and H. Well, the first thing we can say is this length, 24 centimeters, is H plus B, that's the bottom. So we can say H plus B equals 24, and there are actually three equations you can create from this diagram. If you hadn't done anything yet, see if you can find the other two equations that you can take from this diagram. Also, this is where my problem with this question arises because they don't tell you in detail how these trapezia fit inside this rectangle. They don't tell you, for example, that these two short sides fit exactly along this long side, but you need to assume that in order to get the correct answer. We're going to assume that it looks like these two short sides that we've called H fit exactly along the long side of that shape. So I'll bring up the original diagram again. So you can see here, they've obviously intended you to assume that, uh, but they don't state it in the question. So that's my main issue with this problem, but it, it's fine, I guess we're allowed to assume things. Anyways, we're going to say 2H equals B, the long side of the trapezium, and then A, plus B equals 30. So A plus B equals 30. Okay, they're the three equations we need in order to solve for A, B, and H. Remember, if you have three unknowns, you need three equations in order to solve for those unknowns. Okay, so where can we start? Well, if 2H equals B, uh, plug that into the first equation here. So then we could say uh, H plus 2H equals 24. So I could to make this really clear, I could label these equation one, equation two, and equation three. And I have substituted equation two into equation one to get this one. And then three H equals 24, and H equals eight centimeters. Okay, that's my first one. Well, if H equals eight centimeters, then B is going to be two lots of eight centimeters. So B equals 16 centimeters. And if A plus B equals 30, then A must equal 14 centimeters. Now I have A, B, and H. I can figure out the area of this trapezium. Okay, so plugging those in, I've got 14 plus 16. That's going to be 30, but I'm going to write out the whole thing anyways, just to be really clear. Plugging them in here, I get 30 multiplied by eight divided by two. And let's scroll down a bit. Uh, well, eight divided by two is four. 30 times four is 120 centimeters squared. Remember that's the area of one trapezium and we have five of those inside this rectangle. So what I want to do is work out the area of five of those trapezia. So then we're going to do 120 multiplied by five, which is 600 centimeters squared. And then let, now let's work out the area of the whole rectangle. That's going to be 30 times 24. 
that's like 3 times 24, that's 72, so that's going to be 720 centimeters squared. And then to work out that gray area, we do the entire rectangle, subtract the area of the trapezium inside it. So 720 subtract 600, which is 120 centimeters squared. So final answer there, 120 centimeters squared. And Rexan also sent in his solution. So we're going to have a look at that and do a bit of a critique, see how we went. So here is his solution down here. Um, you can see he started by writing down those equations. So he's labeled them X, Y, and Z instead of A, B, and H. That's absolutely fine. You can label them whatever you want. And he said, firstly, Y plus X equals 24. That was the top side of the rectangle. And he's also said Y equals 2X. And then he solved for X. So if Y equals 2X, 2X plus X equals 24. Therefore, X equals 8. Great. That's what we called H in, in my working app. So if X equals 8, Y plus 8 equals 24. Therefore, Y equals 16. Great. And then Y plus Z equals 30, the long side of the rectangle. Therefore, Z equals 14. Fantastic. He's got his three variables. Then he's worked out the area of one trapezium, 120. And then he has worked out the area of tri five trapezia. Worked out the total area of the rectangle, subtracted them, and got 120 for the answer. Fantastic. I cannot fault this uh, working out. I think it's really good. Let me know what you think. Maybe you want to offer some advice for Rexan. But there you go. I hope you found that problem interesting or useful. And also, I hope you find it useful looking at uh, another student's working out and how they approach these things. Leave a like if you did find that useful. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.